the Australian government wants to ban doxing after anti-Zionist activists published the names and details of almost 600 Jewish writers and artists and academics who were members of a WhatsApp support group for Australian Jewish creatives. Then the Australian newspaper, which is Rupert Murdoch's broadsheet, published photos of the doxers on its front page. I think the bigger problem with um, banning doxing is that it kind of uh, doesn't account for the fact that a lot of the time people who dox other people are doing so from a position of anonymity. They're quite technologically savvy and then very difficult to enforce. And it's obviously a globalised world. We're talking about what, what happens online here. And so there's jurisdictional issues. I just don't think it'll do... It feels a bit symbolic. You know, it doesn't feel like it'll affect the worst instances of doxing or do anything to prevent those. But it it may have an impact on certain kinds of journalism. But 